So I'm in the middle of a dart block build for my Mustang, small block forward, SHP block, uh, 8200 deck, four 125 bore size. Um, I am running a forged steel internally balanced crankshaft from Liberty Performance Components. I ordered the rotating assembly, not the block, the rotating assembly from forwardstrokers.com. Apparently this is the same crankshaft as an RPM. Um, so uh, what I'm finding is the counterweights on this crankshaft are very large. I'm sure it has a lot to do with being internally balanced. Um, so there was a few different things that I've done to this block to make me feel better about this, bu uh, this build. So if you look down in there, um, you can see some lips there on the sides of um, the main webbing right below the cylinder. So on cylinders one and three, this is number three, um, I had to take some material, I had to take those, those, those lips off. This thing will focus, there we go. Um, you can see what it used to look like and then what I had to do to kind of make me feel better about this counterweight clearing it. Now it didn't hit it, but um, as you can see, I mean, it looks close on video. It was very close before I took that material down. And then also you can actually see a little bit better here on cylinder number one. And again, that's what it looked like before. Um, I had to take some material off there for that counterweight to clear. Um, another thing with the counterweights is the um, oil pump. Same story falling over um, I had to clearance had to notch the oil pump there sorry I'm shaking all over the place um, take some material away from there because as you can see this counterweight is very large and um, was very close to hitting the oil pump uh, man, I might take a little bit more even uh, maybe right in there I might take a little bit more off um, again, the crank really wasn't hitting any of this stuff, but it was very, very close. And uh, so I took, did some notching on some different components. Now, I've also seen where, um, I haven't got my oil pump pickup yet, but I've seen where um, I might have to modify the pickup as well. It bolts onto right here, because I'm pretty sure there's a flange. It's flanged. Um, so that might be something else I have to notch for these counterweights on this crankshaft. Um, so something else that I did to this block is um, the thrust bearing. Um, let me see if I can, don't just ignore my mess right now. This is gonna be cleaned up for final assembly. The, um, the hole in the thrust bearing was quite a bit smaller than all the other main bearings. And uh, I'm gonna throw a picture in here real quick. As you can see on the left side, the oil hole at the top of the picture is pretty well blocked. So if you look on the right side, you can see where I kind of put a radius on that oil hole to kind of help direct oil out from underneath that bearing and get out of there. So that's what I did. And as you can probably just see from the picture I put in there, I, I notched the block to kind of help the oiling because um, I didn't like how blocked the oil hole was um, on that thrust bearing. So that was another little little bit of grinding I did on the block. And uh, finally, uh, I added studs to the mains here. These are just regular old 351 Windsor studs for like just a two bolt block, uh, 351 Windsor block, half inch stud. Um, I had to notch that stud in order to clear the oil pump. Um, so that stud's been knocked down. Um, so anyway, I'll uh, make a few more videos. Um, I'm not done with this block. I'm probably going to have it decked. Um, I think I need about five thousands off the deck. Um, I haven't got any lifters yet, so the lifter bores may need to be honed. And then of course, um, everything's gonna need a good bath, including the shop floor here, as you can see, it's gonna need to scrub, scrub pretty good. Um, so that's how far along I am right now. I've got all the oil clearances set at uh, two and a half thousandths on the mains and the rods. 
and um, as of right now I am gapping the rings um, again 4125 bore I'm gapping them uh, 026 on the top ring 028 on the second um, I've got the passenger side uh, cylinders one through four done just got to finish the uh, five through eight now and uh, gapping rings just takes forever but uh, I'm sure I'll make a few more videos um, and uh, yeah I'll keep you posted Thank you. if any of you guys are on Instagram go ahead and look me up I uh, been keeping the build updated on uh, Instagram so thanks